Chetan, it's been a little while since we last spoke about the IPL, but in essence, nothing much has really changed because Delhi and Kolkata are still battling out at the top, and then it's incredibly tight in that middle order. Now, you've been to a couple of games. What's been your sort of impressions and maybe highlights of the last uh, week or so in the IPL? Well, yes, certainly, John. I think um, uh, I won't say Delhi and Kolkata are fighting it for the top of the table, but uh, at the moment, Delhi are actually leading the table by three points. And if you consider that uh, from Kolkata Knight Riders to Kings Eleven Punjab, uh, who are in eighth place, there is a difference of just five points, and um, some teams have, uh, have still have a game in hand. So you, you understand that uh, it, it's a very close competition. It's a very, very tightly budged up table. And... Uh, any points lost here are, are a big loss. And if, if you win, it's a big win. And that's, that's true for every team. Not, perhaps not so much for Delhi because they have a cushion of three points. Uh, not just three points. If you look at till number four, that's Chennai Super Kings, who are at nine points on the table. That's a cushion of seven points, actually, because to go out of contention totally, uh, Delhi need to lose those seven points out of those last seven games. So all in all, they have a very handy cushion. But when you talk about the other teams, they don't have that cushion because it's that so much very close. And, uh, you know, every game becomes very important. Now, the big factor here is that the teams will exchange points amongst each other. For example, Chennai play Mumbai, they'll lose points, they'll win points. Um, that sort of thing happens. What the teams don't want at this particular moment is to be losing points to Deccan Chargers because Deccan Chargers, though mathematically still not out of the tournament, they have they have seven matches to go if they win all those seven matches and they're sitting pretty well. But, you know, it's mathematically possible. It doesn't really happen that way in cricket because they have been on a bit of a losing streak and nothing's really working out for them. So the basic point is that none of the teams, uh, teams in contention, that is, uh, they wouldn't want to lose to Deccan Chargers. But, for example, Pune Warriors have lost two matches to Deccan Chargers. Now, even if they win the rest of the games, I think those two losses might just hurt their chances of going into the next round. So, all in all, a very, very close table. Delhi seem to be leading the way. And I think Delhi are already in the playoffs because because the table is so bunched up together. But uh, for the rest of the three spots, it's all to play for. Let's just uh, focus on Delhi for a moment, Chet, and your, your home team. I mean, I think their strength has really been illustrated by the fact that uh, Kevin Peterson played his last game and he's uh, obviously back over here to play Test cricket now for England. And they bring in somebody of the calibre of David Warner to replace him. They really are the form team of the tournament. And I have to say, I, I agree with you. I think they are pretty much in the playoffs. And I'd be very surprised if they don't go all the way through to the final as well. But yes, I think uh, that, is, that is what uh, Delhi's status is right now. I think they are the favourites to win, win this uh, tournament. Uh, what they have done is, uh, even if they come there from the last first three IPL season, they had a very heavy batting lineup. But what they have done is, this time around, they have also brought in a fast bowler, an international quality fast bowler in Mone Mokal. Now, along with Umesh Yadav, who's grown by leaps and bounds from the first three seasons, they now have a very potent attack. They have Shahbaz Nadeem, they have Irfan Patan, they have Ajit, Ajit Azharkar, they have Umesh Yadav, they have Mone Mokal leading the attack. So, you know, you add that to your batting unit, which is already very strong. They made a very couple of very interesting purchases this season and Mahila Jaiwarne and Kevin Peterson, which really strengthened their batting. So, all in all, all of this put together and you see a, a unit which is not lacking anywhere in commitment or in energy on the field. And, you know, it was visible in the game against Rajasthan Royals when they would just wouldn't give, give up. And Mon and Mokal bowled that, at that brilliant over, in, in uh, the penultimate over and nearly won in the match. And mm. in the end, they did go to win the match um, because Rajasthan messed up the last over. So all in all, what I'm saying is that Delhi seemed to be a total package at the moment. And uh, 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 probably, I think, uh, uh, if, if we take in the first three seasons in, in uh, comparison, uh, what Delhi seems to have uh, lacked is that one bad game and they are out of the tournament. You know, they would, they would do well in the league phase, go into the semi-finals, perhaps not perform that well there and then they would lose. Uh, this year, we have the playoffs where uh, the losing side, the first losing side gets a second opportunity. So I think Delhi have an advantage there also. Even if they have the bad game in the playoffs, uh, they'll still have another opportunity to make it to the finals. And I think that, that could really help them. I'm not saying that they will lose, but it, is, it has been seen in their past. And obviously, I mean, it's such a strong team and it's such an unpredictable format that you are allowed one bad game. But for teams, if they're playing a semi-final, if you have one bad game, and that's the end for them. So the playoffs should really allow... The playoffs have been uh, formulated, keeping in mind this particular thing that teams like Delhi Daredevils who have really dominated should not just go out because of one game. 
So all in all, it seems to be advantage Delhi at the moment. And yes, you really uh, uh, pointed out Kevin Peterson has been instrumental. I think he caught the momentum, the necessary momentum. Um, they lost uh, their second game against Royal Challengers Bangalore. But after that, when he came into the side, they have been on a winning streak. They've just lost one game out of eight. And uh, it just goes to show their progress at the moment. And uh, I wanted to just sort of mention Deccan Chargers as well, Chet, and you, you may well have already answered this question, but uh, do you think they've left uh, this sort of upturning form a little bit too late? Because they have won two in three, that's, that's obviously good form, but to those early wins, do you think that uh, will count against them and that that's it, out of the playoffs from now on? Uh, well, I don't think so that uh, Deccan Chargers can actually make the playoffs from this stage because mm-hmm. uh, things are just not clicking for them. I mean, even if they get the runs on the board, the bowling, I mean, there's no no real bowling to support their Spain. Uh, the fielding is not supporting their bowling and the batting is not really clicking consistently. I mean, Samasara scored runs, yes. Cameron White scored a second 50 of the tournament, yes. But still, the, the runs are lacking. The fielding is lacking. The bowling is lacking. I think Deccan Chargers are truly out of... Uh, out of this contention, but I think they can still win a few games. Uh, there are seven games left to play for them. Maybe they can win a couple more, maybe three. I don't know. But whatever games they win, the sides that lose to Deccan Chargers will surely be out of contention because these are points that they wouldn't that they wouldn't want to lose. And uh, finally, Chetan, a big game coming up next week between Delhi Daredevils and the Kolkata Knight Riders, currently the top two teams in the table. You're going to be heading to, to the ground for that one. You um, must be looking forward to it. Absolutely, Calcutta, Calcutta Knight Rider is always uh, always a thrilling side to watch. They have many, many big players, and Delhi Dale is playing playing very well at the moment. And uh, these, as you said, these are the teams which are top of the table, top of the heap. And uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, Delhi have a bit of a break till then, but uh, Calcutta might just have one more game, so maybe they will want to uh, you know uh, catch up with catch up with Delhi Dale. And who knows? I mean, uh, Delhi might lose the top of the uh, top step of the table before the playoffs are here. So. You know, T20 is very, very unpredictable. So you never know what what might happen. There are still six games, six or seven games for all sides left to play. And uh, uh, given how, again, I'm saying this, given how close this table is, anything can happen actually.